Welcome back again guys to the Koi Pond Experience. In this video, we're gonna review this item, Rio 12HF. So this is Hyperflow series. This is different from the Rio Plus series. I prefer the HF series because this has good reputation in the fish keepers community here in my location. So remember that, HF series and not the Plus series. So let's go ahead and open this item. Was a lot of item <laughs> and finally the pump okay right there 12 hf on top of a4000 aqua speed so this is the pump rio 12 hf hyperflow 750 gallons per hour or 2850 liters per hour input power required to run this item is 40 watts and there's a warning again do not run dry and it's made in Taiwan and as you know stuffs that are made in Taiwan are really really good so look at this it's quite a small pump huh here's the other side again do not run dry there's the wire let's try to open this to see what's inside here just flex it like that, left and right, flex it until it pops open. So there it is. What a small pump, guys. So what are the adapters that comes with this? Hmm. So obviously this is small. This will be for the water outlet here. Water comes here in the inlet and then comes out here in the water outlet. So... It's a two-piece. First this one, and then this one. Very simple to understand. Just set this aside for a while here. And then this guy. Definitely not here, but here. There. Again, if you're going to run a red for fit bottom drain, you will be using this as hose adapter. So your retrofit bottom drain will connect here all the way to the other end and then water will come in here and then out here on the water outlet. But for our demonstration today, we will not be using this one. Let's just put this here on the side. Some sort of elbow. And then suction plugs. You are very familiar with this. If you're gonna put this in your aquarium so that there will be no movement or vibration from this submersible pump. And the brackets, there's a lot of them. Well, let me show you how to do this, okay? There's an arrow here, I hope you can see it. There. So the arrow points to where you're gonna push this bracket. So here, push it. On that direction. There. And then you can close it afterwards like that. But first, before you do that, you'd have to connect this bigger bracket here like that. And make sure all these four holes are centered. Then after that, You will use this to connect these two plates here. Connect them. Let me give you a short example.
got an awesome bracket. Really nice. Okay, moving on. Stay with me, guys. Okay, by the way, there's still one more bracket here. This is called a hanger bracket. Let's say you're gonna hang this on top of your aquarium like that. So after hanging this, this one's removable. Let me show you. It's just difficult to remove. It is removable. There. This is what you hang on top of the aquarium like that. And then you insert this. Like that. So I'll remove it again. And then you hang this like that. Slowly. There. Then you put the cover. Should you put the cover? And after doing that, just wrap this up for a while. This one's on top of your aquarium. You lock it like that. So that setup, hanging setup. Much like a uh, power head on an aquarium. <laughs> anyway, let's go ahead. Let's move on. Let's do some measurement of the hose adapters that we have, particularly on the uh, water outlet. Okay. Let's put this here. The outer diameter of this uh, hose adapter is 18 millimeters for the water outlet hose adapter and the hose that we'll be using for this test let's check the outer oh sorry the inner diameter of this hose here so same match 18 millimeters as well so it's a perfect match okay wow so let's just remove this for a while so i can connect this hose to the hose adapter by the way, if you want me to make more videos like this, please comment below. Click the subscribe button so you'll know when a new video from me is available. I forgot to do something. <laughs> I want to do a size comparison between this Rio HF12 and the AquaSpeed A4000. Mm. I'm going to stop here. Just a quick size comparison between the two. Okay. I know you guys are also curious. And there it is. <laughs> Look at that. Okay. It's quite dusty. Sorry guys, it's quite dusty. So let's remove the covers. And this one too. Size comparison. Okay. Show you a top view. It's pretty small, huh? <laughs> the Rio series 12 HF. There. And let's see about the weight. Okay. Let's try to do some weighing, okay? This is not scientific. I just I'm just curious, okay? I'm gonna leave the wire here. So, 698 grams for the Rio 12 HF. The wire's here, okay, laying on the floor. 698. And then for the Aqua Speed A4000, 844. Okay, so the Aqua Speed is still heavier. Because I was thinking it was lighter. But my mistake. <laughs> okay. So Rio 12 HF is 40 watts according to the box and we're gonna test it with our power meters here. So we're in watts right now. Let's go ahead and start this. Hmm. So we have a reading of 44 watts okay, from this power meter. I'm gonna turn it off. 44 watts. Hmm. Okay. Let's try 
the other one, this other power meter that we have. Sorry, power monitor that we have. So, are you ready? Here we go. So again, same reading. Um, almost 44 watts, 43.7 watts. Let's now do the water flow rate test. Hundred and twenty centimeters hose. This one, and then the drum that we're we'll using, this white drum here, is forty liters. This will be the drum that we'll be filling up for this test. So I'm just gonna turn this on for a while. Wow, that was strong. <laughs> okay, setting up the timer here. Come down, come down. Set up your view. So are you ready guys? I'm gonna start now. In three, two, one, and go. We're gonna lay this hose flat on the lip of this drum. So here's the pump, you can see it. Rio 12 HF. And it's filling up this 40 little drum here. We are halfway through. Focus on the time and the drum. Almost done now guys. And stop. Ah. Ooh, there's a the time. 55 seconds. Can you focus on the time here? 55 seconds. For the 40 liter drum fill. 55 seconds. Let's do it again. Okay. As a retest, reset. Okay. So prep for the shot. We can't do it because the drum is still full. <laughs> Sorry guys, we'll be back. <laughs> Stop. Okay guys, so I'm back and look at the drum. It's now empty. <laughs> Sorry about that. Pump's running. We are ready. We are ready for our second test. Are you ready guys? Here we go in three, two, one. And stop. Yeah. Okay guys, so there you have it for our test. We did the power monitor test. We had the wattage and it was consistent between these two power monitors. We also did the rate of water flow test. We did it two times and this is the time that we got. 
I will convert that to liters per hour after I do the computations. I'll show you in the screen. So that was it for this submersible pump. Rio 12 HF, 40 watts, 2,850 liters per hour. It performed very well, guys. So if you ask me, would I recommend this pump? Absolutely. I love this pump. I have a bias towards Rio HF series. Buy this pump with confidence, guys. You will not regret it. So that's it for this video, guys, for the Rio 12HF. That's a wrap. If you are not yet subscribed to the channel, please, please do subscribe. I'd really appreciate that. And if you have some questions regarding this video, please do so by commenting below. I'd really love to hear reactions, okay? So that's it for now. Thank you for watching and see you on my next video.